previous sessions, we have built the basic building blocks of microservices. Just like API Gateway, Service Registry, Config Server, etc. And we also see how we can use API Gateway. In this session, we shall add a new component called Filter. So when customers send a request through API Gateway, an API Gateway forward is to the backend services. During this time, if I want to intercept the request or when the service send the response back, that point of time, if we like to intercept the response, that can be achieved by the filter. There are three types of filter, global filter, pre-filter and post-filter. So without wasting time, let's start developing our first filter. And in this case, we are going to develop a global filter. Global filter are such filter, it will be applied to any backend service that is going to which API Gateway is forwarding the call. So, we are in the API Gateway project and we are developing a filter which is called Retail Bank Global Filter. And any request which will go through our API Gateway will be intercepted by Global Filter irrespective of what backend service it is forwarded and we can add some header or other part on the request. So let's do it. I have created a project, created a filter. I think I don't have Lombok. So let me quickly add Lombok here. So I just added Lombok. And now it should go. Yes, it's fine. Now we need to implement the global filter interface. It comes from Spring Framework Cloud API Gateway Filter. And we need to implement the order also. Note it, it is coming from Spring Framework Core. So this is the two uh, interface that you need to implement and just implement those methods. I shall cover this. You can see this one return type is mono void. This is reactive programming. I shall cover reacting programming into a complete separate sessions where I shall create multiple videos on mono flux and reactive problem. Programming and as usually it will be step by step coding exercise. So let's write a log here. Say inside the global filter. Then we need to do few things. First, exchange dot get request. So we should get that and this is the server web exchange, check the line number 9 here. Then get request mute and let's take the header and we add one new header. So now name of the our header is retail bank and let me add a value also on that. credit card application. I think we can better give it what name can I keep? Let's keep retail bank application. That's it. So with this statement line number 19 we have intercepted the request incoming request and added a new header in the request. Now we just need to forward the request. So let's do this. Hmm. 
let me correct uh, collect it into a variable I am using Java 11 so explicitly I am not defining the data type I am just giving it then we need to give chain dot filter and exchange dot mute dot request and here we need to give our modified request so just make it request with header for better understanding and readability so I have added that one and what is this error okay that that's the thing that build so that's the thing we need to do and ordered is basically defined is priority so here we set it to zero so that's it for a global filter you need to write uh, a class that will implement global filter and order then you write get the request add header or anything then in the filter chain you add this request again so that's it we have implemented our global filter in the api gateway let's set it minus one so it will be the top priority now let me build and run it again so it is building the project let it build yes build successful now let me start the application and that's it our application is started so this api gateway start but now we need to check whether our backend service is receiving the header or not so for that we need to go to our retail bank account management in our controller we have one welcome controller already so i am not changing the existing uh, endpoint that i have written for create and all we have developed a endpoint welcome for our to demonstrate those things so let me change here so first of all in this i need to keep at the rest request header and I need to get the header from the request. So quickly do that part. Map string string. And it should be headers. And uh, now I let me write some logger to get the value from that. So let me complete it log.info Lombok is there this time SFL4J Info Say I am giving what shall I write let me write something header value is and the calibrates and we do this one header dot get and what is the header name we have given let's go to our api gateway and see the global filter Yes, and here you can see okay retail bank I have some doubt I think retail bank uh, it will be automatically 
convert it to all lower case but let me see uh, retail bank that keep vs capital i think it will be converted to small only by default but let's see and i think that's enough for us so we see now we start if we get this log that means our global filter is working and it is forwarding this header so this uh, kind of thing filters and all will be very useful when we will implement security and we will pass some username and password as a header i shall cover all these things in a separate sessions where i shall demonstrate how to secure a microservice using auth2 so i think well let me see in the log yeah and we need to go to our I am hitting through it API gateway. I am making the call to our service to API gateway. Welcome D to D, and the header value is null. So it is going to the global filter, but our header value, if you can see, it is coming as null. So I think I know this value issue. This is probably the B has to be small. So let's do one thing. Yeah, I am just. I just restarted in a debug mode our uh, this one account uh, controller and you can see this retail bank B is small so let me proceed and make this one as small retail bank B as small that's it now if i build and start my application it should work it's actually if i just start it should be enough but for safer side i just prefer to do a clean and build but it is not mandatory so that's it our application started and i think api gateway yes welcome to d2d and if you can see this one we are getting the header value so that way our api gateway has been implemented and we have added a global filter so when we secure our microservices that point of time we need to pass authorization headers and all through this filters only so i shall not mix those things with basic microservice codes and i shall come up with a separate code sessions on that very soon so that's it for the global filter next session we shall implement pre-filter so if if this helps you please like share and subscribe and thank you for your time we shall meet in the next session. Thanks again.